Okay, guys, I know I usually animate myself as a pony to do the review. And I did promise I would do a video with me and Jacob on Halloween, but sadly, my boyfriend's voice has been horsed up. Uh, he's gotten better. It's just that, well, he is unable to work. He's unable. And I'm unable to be at night and make videos with him at night. So, I will be doing a review on Nightmare Before Christmas. I have my own lines, everything ready. Check. As we see, the Halloween town being explained by anonymous dog voice, we hear the song. And with the review, you'll be hearing me sing. And believe me. Now, I enjoyed this movie as much as anyone else would on Halloween night. The thing is, when growing up, Night Before Christmas was one of my favorite movies. When I first watched it, I was scared out of my little mind in the first part of it. But then, when I but then when I saw when I meet Sally, she's a rag doll, and I'm a doll maker by now these days. And Jack, oh my God, where to begin? Jack is full of energy. He's just so excited to be around. It's like he's like one of those weird uncles that you have, but it's a ton of surprise and all that. It's like amazing. He's like amazing fellow. But he has no common decency when it comes to Sally. He doesn't know that Sally and him will end up in love one day. Which is kind of sad. But yes. This movie is a masterpiece of Tim Burton and so many other artisans. It's just amazing music. It's like, holy smoke, so where do we begin? Do we begin with the creeps? Do we begin with the boogeyman? Do we begin with the jack? Well, we're about to find out. So, for this review on Halloween, I reviewed Night Before Christmas. It all starts with the opening town ceremony of their Halloween rendition, and I'll explain to you in song. And believe me, boys and girls are every age. Wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see. This is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Pumpkin cream by the dead of night. This is Halloween. Everybody makes a same trick or treat to the neighbors going to die of fright. It's our town. Everybody screams. In this town of Halloween, I am the one hiding under your bed. Tea grog shop and eyes going red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Finger like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 In this town, we go home. Everybody hail to the pumpkin song. And this town, don't we love it all? Everybody's waiting for the next surprise. On that corner, man, hiding in the trash can. Something waiting for the pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Scream in this Halloween, red and black, slimy green. Aren't you scared? Well, that's just fine. Save one, say it, try to stick it to the roller dice right with the moon and the dead of night. Everybody screams, everybody screams in our town of Halloween. I am the clown with a terrible afraid. Here in a flash and talk without a trace. I am the who you win, you call who there. Wind blow through your hair. I am the shadow of the moon and night. Filling your dreams with the grim with fright. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Tender looking everywhere. Like the fun with Calico Scare. That's our job, but we're not mean. In our town of Halloween. In this town, don't we love it now? Everybody waiting for the next surprise. Guns and Jack might catch you in the back and scream like a banshee and make you jump out of your skin. This is Halloween. Everybody scream. Won't you please make a very special guy? Our man Jack, king of the pumpkin patch. Everybody hail to the pumpkin king. This is, oh, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. In this town we call home, everybody hail to the pumpkin song. La, 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 As they give the excitement to their annual Halloween presentation, the Pumpkin King, the leader, leads them to organize the annual Halloween celebration, which this celebration came awesome. And everyone is so excited about him. Jack is their leader. Jack is their king. He is the king of Halloween. But unaware of Jack's 
unhappiness when he feels like he's done it before and everything the same. He is followed by Sally the Ragdoll that was created by Mr. Frank by Dr. Frankenstein. Because he's lonely. He made her be like a daughter for him. In some respects, he kinda of reminds me of me with Raven. But unlike me, I if Raven was alive not like those you know, those bad dolls, I would let her have that type of soul like like Sally would. Like wanna walk around and enjoy life. Dr. Frankenstein rather keep her in a tower, and that sounds familiar to me because I was kept a lot in my house by my mother because I have things to take care of. Responsibilities to be taken care of her. Which were not bad, but you know what I mean. So, as Sally follows him through the graveyard, he went to go see his pet dog. His ghost dog, that is. Named Zero. What a pretty little ghost, I tell you the truth. It's an adorable little ghost. At first, it looks like a tissue, but once you see closer, it's like, oh my god. And the little details on the snout is like a pumpkin, glowing, orange. It's a beautiful detail, I would say. As he goes through the grave, he feels like really at the routine every year, wants something new, wants something grand. And Sally felt so sad for him. And she's like, Jack, I know how you feel. As Sally gathered the plant she usually to knock out the old doctor, as she was about to hide it in the kitchen, Dr. Vixen came up saying, You missing something? You want a bag? You have to come. So which means she has to go back to him to get her arm back. And as he is being like a father saying, You're mine, you know, and I'll make you with my own head. You can make other creations. I'm restless. I can't help it. And then like all fathers, he says, You need to be patient until it passes. But she doesn't want to be patient. She just wants to have fun. But before we go to that scene, we get our next song. And I love this song. Jax Lemoyne. The song is always very sad. When I first heard it, it made me very sad for poor Jack to not have a chance to, well, enjoy life. I mean, he's constantly in Halloween Town so many times. He needs to do something to express him. And now, here's your song. There are few who can deny what I do. I am the best. For my talent are renowned far and wide. When it comes to surprise in the moonlit night, I excel without ever even trying. With yet the slightest bit of effort on my goose-like arms, I have seen grown men give out a shriek. With the wave of my hand and will the place moan, I have swept the very bravest off their feet. Year after year, it's the same routine, and I grow so weary of the sounds of scream. And I, Chuck, the pumpkin king, had grown so tired of the same old thing. Who somewhere deep inside these bones began to grow, something out there far from my home. The longest I've never known. I'm the master of fright, a demon of light, and I scare you right out of your pen. Whoa! To the guys in Kentucky, I'm Mr. Unlucky, and I know who are England and I'm France. And since I am dead, I can take off my head to recite Shakespearean quotations. No animal, no man can scream like I can with the fury of my weak sensation. But who here would ever understand as a pumpkin king with the skeleton grin? Or tire of his crown, if they only understand, he'd give it all up if he only could. Who there and place in my bone call out, unknown the frame, praise come after year, nothing but empty tears. Yeah, sorry about the inner end. My voice gets tired. Then we always saw the scene with Sally. Then, as he falls asleep walking, Jack grows really and really wanders to the woods. In the morning after Halloween, he stumbles across seven trees contained in doors. Before then, the mayor came up to his house and knocked, Jack, you're home? And then his face switches. Yeah, as they say, two face, he's two face. He has the coward and the happy. And as he tried to ask Jack about for next year's Halloween, but he wasn't home, he got knocked over, rolled down like a pin, like, pow, 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 pow. and believe me, at a groan, he groaned. Then, as Jack woke, as Jack was walking asleep, walking asleep, wow, that's never been done before, and again, I have my cultures, wandering in the woods, morning and after Halloween, stumbled across the same trees containing doors, leading in town, respecting the found holiday, holidays. There's a door to Thanksgiving, 
adored at Easter, adored at even St. Patrick's Day, and opened a portal to Christmas Town. When he ooed an unfamiliar holiday, he experienced such lovely and joy. And the snow, the way that Tim Burton created the snow to look, make it look real, the way he made it, oh, it looks so perfectly charming and mystifying. The Christmas Town looks amazing with this quartorial. The photographs, the clay man animation, this is beautiful stop mo animation. Tim Burton was a genius, and the other guy was, uh, I can't remember his name. So, yes. And now he sings the joy of his song. And that is, what's this? What? What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I'm dreaming. Jack and wake up, Jack, and this isn't fair. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something very wrong. What's this? There's people singing songs. What's this? The streets are lining up with little creatures laughing. Everyone seems so happy. I haven't possibly gotten happy. What is this? What's this? There's children throwing snowballs instead of throwing head. They're busy building toys and absolutely no one's dead. There's frost in every window and I can't believe my eyes. In my bones I feel warm that's coming warm inside. Oh look, what's this? They're hanging mistletoe. They kiss. Well, why they look so neat? Inspired! They gathered round and hear a little story and roast and chestnuts on the fire. What's this? What's this? And here, they got a little tree. How queer! And who would ever think? And why? They covered it with tiny little things like electric lights and strings. And they smile at everyone. So now correct me if I'm wrong. Look at fun. Looks like done. And I could be fine. My wish. What's this? Oh my. What now? The children are asleep. But look. There's nothing you need. No ghouls. No witches here to scream and scare and dumb and sign them. Oh, cozy little thing and sick inside a dreamland. <sighs> What's this? The monsters are missing and the knights can't be found. In the place there seems to be a good feeling all about it's silent screams, I swear I can hear music and hear the smell of cakes and pie are absolutely everywhere. The sight, the sounds, they're everywhere, all around. I've never felt as good before. This empty place inside of me is filling up. I simply cannot get enough. And I want it, all I want, all I want it. I'm alone, got my own, got my own now. What is this? As I found, what is this, Christmas Town? Hmm. Danny sees Santa Claus. But then as the town folks try to look for Jack everywhere, they look in the lake, they look in the pumpkin cache, they tried so many times to look for them. All the animal, I mean, all the monsters seem to be helpless without Jack. It's like Jack's the big leader, and he's, and they're like all small, tiny little potatoes. They feel helpless without Jack. And this time... Well, Sally's making a special brew for her father. You know what I mean. Yeah, he's his fa he's her father, someone, because he did create her. She tries to make a sleeping potion again because she wants to go out. I mean, come on. Would you do that if you had to do it? And believe me, she wanted to get out of there. She added a bit of frog scrub, worm scents, and everything. And at first, she brought out a fake spoon to pretend to eat it. Mmm, it's grumses. But at that time, the doctor, Dr. Finkelstein, was working on a, a skull of some sort. We'll see more of it than the rest of it. As she brings the lunch there, she pretends to drink it, and then she eats it all up and puts her to sleep. But the town folks got upset. Where is Jack? And they lost all hope. But then Jack came through town with a treasure of Christmas oddities from the Christmas town he went into. I mean, come on, seriously. This guy had a lot of gore. Oh, wait, not gore. Tor. At this point, he gathers a meet in the room with all the Halloween monsters and showing them what he found, what discoveries he made. He's like Christopher Columbus to them, I would say. Because, well, Christopher Columbus did discover a lot of things. At this time, Sally hears the town meet, and, he, and she wants to go and we'll see what's up. Because she is, well... She has a crush on Jack, which makes sense. So as she comes to the meet, and it's like it's like they were gasping at the idea. Compared to every idea of Halloween, through they related to one Christmas character, the Red Lobster -like King, who flies at night, named Santa Claus. Santa Claus. And well, they all ask these questions. Ask him if he's a monster. Is he a cretin? Is he a creep? What is Santa? What is Santa Claus? And he asks all these questions. What to do? They always seem to presume that everything is Christmassy and scary. Here's a song, Jack's song, the town meeting. 
They were objects so peculiar they were not to believe all around. Oh, sorry. Things tantalize in my brain. It's a world unlike anything I've ever seen. As hard as I try, I can't seem to describe it like some most important dream. But you must believe when I tell you this, as real as my skull does exist. Here, let me show you. These things called a prison. The whole thing starts with a box. There is a box. Is it steel? Is there a lock? Is there a feeling with a pox? A pox? Very delightful, a pox. If you please. Just a box with bright colored paper and the whole thing stopped with a bow. A bow. But why? How ugly. What in it? What's in it? That's the point of the thing. Not to know. It's a bat. Will it bend? It's a rat. Will it break? Perhaps it's the head that I found in the lake. Listen now, you don't understand. That's not the point of Christmas land. Now pay attention. Now we pick up this oversight sock and hang this on the wall. Oh, does it have a foot? Let me see, let me look. There's a rotting copper with gook. Uh, let me explain. There's no foot inside, but there's candy and something filled with small, small toys. Small toys, do they bite, do they snap, twirl in a sec, or perhaps they just swing out and scare the girls and boys. What a splendid idea. The Christmas sounds fun. Why, I fully adore it, and let's try it at once. Everyone, please, now. Not so fast. There's something you hear you don't quite grasp. Well, I may as well give them what they want. And the best of the best, I must confess, I have saved for the last, for the rule of this hollow Christmas land, is a fearsome cream with a deep, funny voice. At least that's what I've come to understand. And what I've heard is told that he's something to behold, like a lobster, huge and red. And he sat on the sleigh with his reindeer gear, on the cotton ball sack with a great big arm. That's what I've heard, he said, on a dark cold night, on a full moonlight. He flies in the fog like a vulture in the sky, and they call him Sandy Claus. At least they're excited, but they don't understand the special kind of feeling in Christmas land. Oh, well. As all the Halloweens got all excited and all that, they all got all excited. They did. Oldman decided that it was unfair for Christmas Town alone to enjoy the hall. We announced him that he and Susan Town will take over Christmas this year. But Sally has a vision of the past, a vision that it is witnessed that she knows that Christmas is going to be a bad night for Jack and the rest of the gang. I mean, seriously. Then we see a part where they get in things, practicing the singing of songs. Oh, sorry, that magically appeared in my arms. Sorry. <laughs> In any case, Jack is like, oh, this is going to be fun. Besides, like, oh, it's not going to be fun, Jack. And then the three kids came in asking if they could help to get Santa Claus. Or Sandy Claus. And as they sung, and as they got ready, to, and as they were told not to kill him, not to hurt him. Oh, bring him in only. But they have tricks up their sleeve. They're little trick-or-treaters. One of them is a devil, a witch, and a skeleton. And these characters always creep me out when I was a little girl. Even they're bad boys. And a bad girl. <laughs> and now we see them going back. We see them going back to the treehouse where they explain their misdeed. Get that Mr. Santa Claus. I want to do it. Let's draw stars. Jack says we should work together. Three of kind. Birds of a feather. Now and forever. Wee! La 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 la. Kidnap the Santa Claus, lock him the way tight, throw him away the key, and then turn off the light. First, we're gonna set some bait inside a nasty trap, and when it comes to sniffing it, we snap and trap and close the key. Wait, I got a better plan to catch this big lead lobster man. Let's pop him in the boiling pot, and where he's done, he'd butter him up. Kidnap the Santa Claus, throw him in the box, bury him for nine years, till you see if he talks. Then, Mr. Oogie Boogie Man can take the whole thing over land, and he's so pleased and do good player that he will cook him rare. I say that we cannot am in at the door. Then knock it three times, and when he answers, Santa Claus will be no more. You're so stupid, think now if we're doing and blow him up the smithereen, we may lose to something peas, and Jack will beat us black and green. Kidnap Mr. Santa Claus, tie him in the bag, throw him in the ocean to see if it be sad. Because Mr. Boogie Boogie is the meanest guy, he don't even want to go to his list. I would get on town. He'll be so pleased of our success. Then he'll reward us to our bed. Perhaps he might give us a special brew, a snake and spider stew. Hmm, or his little henchman would take our job or pie. Why do it best to please him and stay on his good side? I wish my cards weren't so dumb. I'm not the dumb one. You're not fun. Shut up. Make me. I've got something to listen here. Now, this is one good thing. You see, we'll send a present to his door, but until then, no, we read it now. In the box, and we wait and hide. 
until your curiosity and tired to tame the look inside, and then we have uh, have them one, two, three. Kidnap Simply Santa Claus, beat them with a stick, lock them for the ninety years, see what makes them tick, and kidnap Mr. S Sandy Man, chop them into bits. Mr. Ugly is sure to get a kick of it. Kidnap Mr. Santa Claus, see what we can see, lock them in the cage and throw away the key. Then we see him in a savvy form. Now, he doesn't show up at first. He only shows up in glimpses, like Jaws. I say, his voice is really ripplingly scary. <laughs> and I'll explain that later on. So, through the day, Sally's locked up in a tower again by her father as Jack gets prepared and studies and research everything. Then he finally got them to all work their arms off. See if they can create their own Christmas. They created their sus, the opposite of what Santa would do. Toys that scream, snakes that come and eat you. It's not a really good thing. And the thing in all of this, they try to create the skeleton deer, but at this point, Dr. Frankenstein is making her own, his own little friend, I would say. But as Sally, a beautiful rag doll, secretly in love with Jack, feels their effect me and isn't as ever. But Jack dismisses her, says in her task of sewing him a red coat to wear. He tasks lock and dog. Oh, I wish that. Did. But yeah. And unfortunately, plots to play a game, stock Santa. Sally attempted, but then, as the song goes on, we see the monsters getting ready for Christmas and everything. We see the monster, we see. Some of them making dolls, creepy rubber ducks, short of like creepy stuff all around. Oh my god, the song will explain more better than I because, oh, well, all I can say is Jack is not listening to Sally. Yeah, <laughs> it's time, it's time, making Christmas, making Christmas. Making Christmas, making Christmas, it's so fine, it's our time, and won't you be surprised, it's time, this time. Making Christmas, making Christmas, making Christmas, time to give something fun to talk about for years to come. Let's have a cheer for everyone, it's time to party. Making Christmas, making snake, snake, snake and mice get wrapped so nice. With spider legs and pretty bow. It's our time, this time. All together, that's in this with all our tricks. We're making Christmas time. Here comes Jack. I don't believe what's happening to me. My hopes, my dream, my fantasy. <laughs> Won't he be impressed? I'm a genius. See how I transform this all went to delightful. Hmm, my compliments for me to you. On this most intriguing hat, consider through the substitute. A bat in this place all oh, red. No, 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 oh, that's all wrong. This will never make a present. It's been dead, wish too long. Something fresh, something pleasant. Try again, don't give up. Oh, together, that's with our trick. All our tricks are making Christmas time. It's time, it's time, making Christmas, la la la. We all can't wait to ring the bell and celebrate Cause when the full moon starts to climb we sing out It's Christmas time! Ah! At this time, Sally escapes Dr. Frankenstein Lab as he's creating a female version of her A better form partner He really... I'm afraid Sally even lost Dr. Frankenstein because of her escaping But hey, she likes Jack She doesn't want to be around an old man I mean, who wouldn't? I mean... I love my dad and all, but even Sally needs to flock to that. She brings in a pot of fog to make to disguise Jack. And she almost won, unfortunately. But Jack discovered that Zero had a glowing red pumpkin nose. They used like a reindeer reference. And Sally had failed, had failed to stop Jack from going. She knows there's going to be a disaster. Then this is how she feels when she explains song and this is my sister's favorite song her favorite song I sense there's something in the wind it feels like tragedy at hand and I like to stand and stand in my hand can't shake this feeling that I have the worst is just around a bend and as he noticed my feelings for him will really see how much he means to me. It's not to be what will become of my dear friend. Where's that can lead us then? 
I'd like to join the crowd and it on the cloud. Try and I may, it doesn't last. And we ever end up together. I think I will become, for I'm not the one. Then we see, it's this very sad song. The singer who sang, like, um, the one who sang, the one who voiced Sally, which is one of my, was Katrina O'Hare as Sally, creation of Frankenstein. And, well, she's my sister's favorite character, actually. Mine, too. I mean, come on, she's beautiful. As Jack goes through the night, grabbing toys to each every house to fright them about, the children would get a snake. Some of them got bats. Some of them got a haunted possessed doll. No offense, Raven. And a, uh, okay, I'm not, sorry. Sorry about that joke. A movable Jack in a box that chased all the kids up. This time, the adults had to do something to stop Jack because their kids were getting in danger by all these toys they created. The monsters in Home Town thought that it was much more safer. But before then, before we got to him flying, Santa and Jack finally meet each other face to face as he was taken from his house from those three little brats. And he came in, and Jack says, Oh, Mr. Santa Claus, it's nice to meet you. I'm going to take your holiday and take and make it as my own tonight. You can relax. Go on a vacation. But Santa feels like it's a mistake, and he is taken away by them. And there he meets Mr. Oogie Boogie, our nastiest villain. And the thing is, he is voiced by the most nastiest voice ever. And he's voiced Ken Pegg. Ken played a lot of dark voices, but this is his most darkest time. And the animation... It's brilliant, but some of the color lighting can make you feel dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. And this is one of the songs, the Oogie Boogie song. Everyone knows this song. <coughs> well, 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 what have we here? Santa Claus, huh? I'm really scared. So that's the one everybody's talking about. Ha, ha, ha. You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You're joking me. You've got to be. This can't be the right guy. He's ancient. He's ugly. I don't know what it's worth. I might just split a seed now if I don't die laughing first. When Mr. Oogie Boogie says it's a old close at hand, you better pay attention now because I'm the boogie man. If only you're shaking, there's something very wrong because this may be the last time you ever hear the boogie song. Whoa, 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 ah, he's the boogeyman. Well, if I'm feeling empty and there's nothing much to do, I just might just cook a special batch of snake and spider stew. And then you know one thing, they would make it nice, nice, a royal plop sandy cloth to add a little spice. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 yeah. I'm the boogeyman. Release me now or you will face the dire consequences. The children are expecting me, so please come to your senses. You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my ear. You're someone in a follow up. I'm drowning my tears. It's funny. I'm laughing really too much. Now, with your permission, I'm going to do my stuff. What are you going to do? I'm going to do the best I can. Oh, the sound of old guys and the music in the air. I'm gonna grab me, boogeyman. Do I don't know if my fans must be fun. I must confess, we're lives are online. Not mine, of course, but yours, old boy. Now, dear, just fine. Release me fast as you will have the answer to the heinous act. Oh, brother, you're something. You put me in a spin. You oughtn't completely the positive that you're in. And hopeless, you're finished. And you haven't got a prayer, because I'm Mr. Book, and you ain't going nowhere. Those three little monsters are like enjoying the comic, enjoying it like a comic book. Meanwhile, Jack is over, and as all the town folks and cities and all that, they're scared for their children. They send the armies in and bunt and the guns to shoot them down. Jack thought they were giving us fireworks, but we saw in Zero's face that he said, I don't think so, master. And then they start blowing, destroying him, and Jack starts seeing, what's this? They're trying to kill me. Zero! And as they got blasted down, and as for the children, the adults told them the real Santa disappeared somewhere. So Sally decided to go the task of looking for him and saving him from the boogeyman. As Jack was as Jack is found on the gravestone, being very sad of what he just did to the children and what he ruined Christmas for so many kids. How sad! How very sad! Also, I may have forgotten to sing a song, actually. One of the songs. Jack, obviously, is. I'll sing that. I'll sing of that song for a bonus for you guys. Okay? Now, what 
have I done? What have I done? How could I be so blind? And all that's lost, where was I? Spoil it all, spoil it all. Everything gone away. What have I done? What have I done? Found decay, the hot millions are here, they'll find me. Or dust and the plague, they read. Here's my poor check, but I'd never intended what's madness. Never, nobody really understood how could they. That all I wanted was to bring something great. Why, that did I turn out like it should. Well, the heck, I went and did my best, and by God, I really tasted something swell. For the moment, why, I even touched the sky, and at least I left some story they can tell I did. And for the first time since I don't remember when, I felt like my old bony self again, and I jacked the pump. Yes, right, I am the pumpkin. Ha, 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 ha. I just can't wait till next Halloween, because I got some new ideas that will really make them scream. And by God, I'm going to give it all I might. Oh, I hope there's time to set things right. Sandy Claus. At this time, um, Sally uses a leg to get him. Because, well, a guy can't resist a girl's leg. But then he uh, almost falls for it. But then she couldn't save him in time. And she was trapped. And at this moment, Jack is running through the grave. And Sally and Santa are in peril. They're going to be turned into speaking spider stew. How terrible. <laughs> and as the book says, Jack's not going to come and save you, old girl. You two are going to be in stew, yummy stew. And Jack is running as fast as he could with his bony action. The animation with his walking, it hurt. It took, it took Tim Burton and his gang to work for hours to get this done. They had to do so many, had to do five times or ten times some more just to get him to walk perfectly. Even with Sally's walking. They try to make it whoopee. And as he almost threw them into the into the stew, as he played with his dice, saying he should kill them or should not, almost said, yeah, don't kill them, but then, yes, they do kill them. He, and he fell, ah, but nope, they didn't. So it ended up a battle. Jack, you're back. I thought you were dead. So it was the battle between Oogie Boogie and the Pumpkin King. During this game of death and fright, Jack used every trick in his cloddy and his cloddy fabric body to trick Jack into getting him destroyed. And well, yeah, you know what happened, this gambling monster. As Jack as Jack couldn't handle it anymore, he finally saw him hanging from there and he saw a piece of drink and he ripped him over. How dare you try to play with my friends? And as soon as he ripped it open, Bugs were flying all over. It found out that he was just a guy in bug suit. Now, there were deleted scenes. I'll explain to you to them after this review. As his body all turned into bugs and everything, and there was one single bug scene, My bug! My bug! He's so, He gets smacked. By the Santa Claus himself. And then Jack said, I'm really sorry, Santa. But you better be. The next time you try to take someone's holiday, you better wait for the consequences. But I hope there's still time. Of course there's time. I'm Santa Claus. As he flies off, also she says, The only one who has sense in here is this girl, a Sally. You better listen to her, man. And I thought, and then he's like, Sally, I didn't... Jack, I was trying to warn you, but you didn't listen. I don't want you to ruin any other holidays. We have our own holiday. I tried my best to come and help, and well... Then Jack just realized, I didn't know how much you cared. Of course I cared. Says that. And then they were about to have their romantic time. Unfortunately, they were saved by the mayor of Boogie Town with the three brats. And there's also a deleted scene, too, also. But I'll be explained in a minute. As they were saved by the three brats. Because, well, it says apology for what they did. I mean, seriously. Come on, kids. Really. You can't just... You know, you got to save them, too, you know. So at this moment, Santa Claus raises through the night. He makes Christmas. He enjoys. He fixes up every little mess, and every little got all their toys. Little boy got dog. Little girl got candy cane. Little boy got a toy dog. Other things came to life. And the Halloween town monsters were very excited to have their leader back. And they were all enjoyment until they look up to the sky and see snow. And they had their own version of singing... What's this? What's this? And all that. And they started enjoying it. It's a Christmas thing. It's very, really strange. As they enjoy the songs and everything, as they enjoy the snow and everything, 
And Santa goes down, Happy Halloween! Injecting Merry Christmas! As they enjoy it. But then we see, but then we see Dr. Frankenstein with a, with a, well, with someone when he created, he created someone that looks like him with a brain like him, and she's now his new daughter. And now he's basically, he gave up on Sally. Yeah, that's a bad father figure. He's a bad father figure. Or whatever it was. He was trying to have his own little sugar girl. Ugh. Reference to something else. So Jack follows Sally up to the hill. If you don't mind. Okay, I'm going to sing this song in the right way. And I'm going to try to sing both his voices. I've you seen I've... Okay, here's the song that they sang through the end. La, la, la. Jack's okay. He's back. Okay, he's all right. Let's shout and make a fuss. Scream. Jack is back. Oh, everyone sings it on Halloween. What's this? What's this? I haven't got a clue. They got excited about the snow. What's this? What is it completely new? What's this? It must be a Christmas thing. What's this? It's really very strange. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. What's this? What's this? Now here's the romantic part. My dearest friend, if you don't mind, I'd like to join you by your side, where we can gaze into the stars and sit together now win forever. For its plan is everything we see we simply meant to be. And as the movie ends with Zero smiling at his master and they declare their love for each other and she goes up to the stars and that's the end of our movie. Now, this movie was created in the years when I was younger, when I was just a baby. I was three years old. In 1993, stop motion animation, musical fantastic. Now, Tim Burton did have the idea for it. He written a poem based on this. But Henry Selleck, oh, he's the granddaddy of fiction. With, da with Danny's alpha man wrote the songs and score, providing the singing voice for Jack and principal voice cast, including Chris Sanders, Catherine O'Hare, William Hecker, Ken Page, and Paul Rubin. And, of course, again, Suggs. This movie was a classic, but it also had some deleted films, deleted scenes that you may not be aware of in existence. And these, and these sequels, wow, I'm about to give you a clue. But let me just point out a few more things about our dear, beloved Halloween Town. Halloween Town was a simply immaculate, wonderful thing you could ever imagine. There's so many ideas that Tim Burton tried. Now the story goes, he tried it through these ideas at Walt Disney at one time. But Walt Disney said no to him, so he had to create his own little spin on how he made his movie. He first created a clip of, of Vincent, like, you know, a boy who is a big fan of Benjamin Price. And they love that movie. As they developed, they worked, they worked tirelessly and effortlessly every day. Every, until the year of 1993, the movie was shown. The first time I saw the movie, though, I think I was about four years old. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, I think I remember I was three years old. Yeah, I was three years old when it happened. At that time, I fell in love with it. It was the very first Halloween, well, big feature movie ever. It was just amazing. It was like, who are these characters? Who are they based on? It was just amazing what Tim Burton and, and Henry Selleck did when they created all these immaculate in the box office around the film Disney with David Hotchman which quoted, I hope Nightmare goes out and makes a fortune. If it does, great. If it doesn't, that's a negative devaluation of the process. The budget was less than Disney Blockbuster. If it doesn't have Aaron Aladdin size, the Tim Burton Name of Christmas will give the limits release on October 15th of 1993 before being wide released on October 29th. This film earned $50 million in the United States, the first theater run. And it has a legacy, a very strong legacy. The next legacy to it was, well, the closest sequel we ever got was Christmas Boogie Revenge. I love the songs. I've actually got the songs on the disc somehow. They even decorated the uh, um, Haunted Mansion uh, for Halloween Town. It's amazing. It's like, oh my god. It's like, I wish I was there to do it, but sadly, never truly meant. And now, let me just, uh, I'm looking. I have so many files here about everything I have here, but yeah. But also, I'm going to give you a list of reasons and why and who are my favorite characters. 
Jack because, well, he's wild and charisma. He just has that fling. You never know if it's going to happen or not. He's just an amazing character. He's like, where to begin? At first, he's like a skeleton, but once you get close to him, he's a nice fellow. Very nice, I would say. All I can do say, he is tall, man. He just wants to show and have fun with everyone. But in the end, he sometimes uh, forgets to notice how dangerous he can be. How dangerous that he can get his friends in trouble. And basically, Sally was trying to get him to listen to him, but it never happened. But yes, there were deleted scenes. The strongest two that I know and remember was when, um, in originally the Huggy Puck scene, we were actually going to get ahead of Tim Burton, but that scene was cut out due to, well, it was too scary. That's really a pug. And then, one of the best deleted scenes was going to be the ending. Okay. In the first part of the deleted scene, we see the Ilky Buggy flying on top. We don't see him getting on, you know, unwayable to a doll. But it turned out it was, well, it was Dr. Frankenstein. Yes. Dr. Spinkelstein pretended to be um, the boogie, the oogie boogie man to try to scare, like, try to, you know. I need the information about that. Sorry, it's going to take me a while to find it. <laughs> but let's, let's talk about trivia time as I find the information about it. Now, story go. Now, this, now, the trivia we see here. We see so many monsters. We see. Skeletons, ghosts, even an evil clown. And that was very, uh, well, scary. And even at one point, we have a devil. Disney actually allowed them to have, well, it's not what, you know what I mean. They actually had a devil in there. We even had tons of creatures, all sorts of monsters. Like, oh my god, it was like creepy as heck. It was very creepy. We have a cyclops, a cyclops mummy, that is. It's like, oh my god. Now then, someone actually del someone actually wrote down a list of this, which is very helpful, actually. I thank you whoever wrote this. Hmm. Nightmare deleted ending. Jack's list. Now you probably wondered what become of uh, Ogie's log, rock, and barrel. If you haven't said it's time, it's begin. All oh, right. I'm not going to get into the song or dance here or anything. It was written by someone. By Sly Creations, which I thank you for doing that because it's hard to find uh, information. What I'm going to is Untold uh, Eternal Ending to Disney. Night Before Christmas, in the movie we see Jack Skeleton, Sally Ragdoll softly singing while coming together in the end with zero flying in the sky. What we didn't see is that happened to Lockjock and Barrow after they betrayed Jack's trust, kidnapped Santa, which of course almost caused the death of Santa and Santa. Several years ago, I came up via his help and my uncle clear the attic and the tape. And ABC Jack Slits, and I asked my uncle about it, and he grabbed the tape out of my hand and experiment and said that it was a garbage tossed into the garbage pile we had set aside. But after we finished cleaning the attic, I took the trash out and curb and picked it up. But being a curious person I am, I decided to retrain the tape before heading back to my uncle's house. Later that night, when I got home, I quickly installed the tape into my VHS, and I'm still living in the 90s anyway. The video started up with a scample frozen image of standing by. Wait a minute. This is not a deletion. This is a... Oh, creepy pasta. Okay, forget what I just read. Ugh. Okay, I do have memories, thank God. I'm not that stupid, thank God. Okay. When C and the, when C and the deleted scenes... When C and the deleted scenes... The first one is we see Lock, Jock, and Barrow... Um, we see them gathering candy to watch the death of Sally and Santa Claus by Boogie. This scene was very dark, I would say. It was like, oh, Lockjaw and Daryl are getting candy and snacks and, wa and drinks to watch them being dead. It was like, oh my god. These three monsters are terrible. I'm glad they deleted this scene. This scene would have been really scary for the kids. I mean, seriously. Who would want to watch that? Seriously. Unless you're, uh... Unless you're nutty. Then we see Jack scaring him into going to get the uh, mare and everything, which is a very good idea to do. Very good idea. And in the next scene we see, well, as I explained before, okay. we see there are more scenes to Jack doing his research in, uh, of all the Christmas items, like taking the fuzz out of teddy bear or 
and everything. It was much more longer, but they had to short it down to a couple of scenes. But the scenes were shortened now, which I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't like their scenes being shortened down, but what are you going to do? They had to shorten it down for extra hours. And we also get a few clips of them, of them while well, testing out how they can make Sally walk and um, Jack walk and how they develop the zero moving around and continue. These deleted scenes were awesome. Very good deleted scenes, I would say. You know, this was a classic movie when I was a kid. Every reviewer in the whole world has reviewed this movie. You know why? Because the movie's good. The movie has something we've never seen. And yes, people have did create a lot of Halloween movies and all that, but you know, there was a part they also know you know that dummy guy, the one with the ox on his They were originally gonna they were originally gonna let him talk actually and have a singing part. You can actually find the song on the soundtrack, which I have. But in the movie I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. You can't really find it, I'm afraid not. It's like, oh my god, it's not even there. Then again, what can you do? It's how it is. Sorry, it's taking me a while. But hey, it's not always easy to get the right information. But yeah. I'm fine and I'm trying to look for it. Usually, I know. Usually I would be all set and everything. I usually would be all set and everything. But sadly... I'm not exactly all set up before this. Dang it. Let's see. Disney Weekly. I'm usually all, I'm usually set up for this, but it's just that, well, not much set up at all. That's it all. Where are the deleted scenes? It was in here a long time ago. It's like it's gone. Disappeared, I would say. Okay. I'll try and use my memory to remember as much as I can. We see him um, up on the string saying that, all right, all right, the real reason why I was trying to scare, I was trying to scare, I was trying to scare Sally out of being around you. He was really jealous of Jack. He wanted to make Jack look a fool for ruining Christmas and all that, and for ruining, the, for ruining them. I need to look at the um, at the cancel project because that's a better information for me. Because I usually have my script and set everything. Today, this was just a rush project. I apologize. I usually have videos set up every single week. But unfortunately, it's like, I'm not prepared today. It's like, oh my god, I'm not prepared. Ugh. Honestly. I try my best to prepare myself for it. It's like, it's like, uh... Trying to prepare for a show. You know, it's hard. But yes. I am, I am, I am uh, looking for information about it. Dang it. There's not much of it, though. It's like, it's not even here. Okay, for this, I may have to watch a video because the information for deleted video is kind of uh, not here at the weekly. I thought it would be, but apparently it's not. So the clip of it, um, I'll send a link to you guys on my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna watch the video silently and tell you what it's about. I do know, I've seen the part many times, but memory, I've been busy with so many things happening around me. Okay, let me watch and see what happens. I'll read the lines and tell you what happens. Okay. Okay. We see him up there, and he's bringing it up, he's ripping it up, and the boogeyman's like, oh, being ripped apart, and we see Dr. Frankenstein, and Dr. Frankenstein's like, Jack's like, why are you doing this? And all that, because, uh, pay no attention to the man in the mask, pay no attention to me, to him, pay attention to me! Uh, well, uh, this is sort of embarrassing. Why are you doing this, Dr. Frankenstein? Because, uh, all right, all right. The reason why, yes, I did. I am Boogie Yogi. I try to get Sally to, like, to, like, be afraid of you. 
I try to get her alone and all that. Oh wait, this is not gonna work well. Guys, I'm not very good at explaining this deleted scene. For so to be helpful, I'm just gonna send you guys the link of this under my channel. Don't worry. Under the link in the description, you'll see the link to this, okay? Ugh, sorry. Today I was not that prepared. And sorry, I had to cut this short because I got a busy schedule today. So folks, happy Halloween and enjoy the creeps and the crawls.